hello guys welcome and welcome back to Ricky's kitchen today I'm going to show you how to make papaya tutti frutti the easiest way if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please please kindly do so you don't get to miss any of my videos each and every week then stay tuned to enjoy my recipe on today's ingredients you're going to need a raw papaya one and three quarter cup of sugar 3 cups of normal water Different types of food coloring I'm going to use a green one, an orange one, yellow one and red one or you can use any food coloring that you prefer So the first step, you're going to cut the papaya into two Then afterwards remove the seeds out from the papaya Once you're done removing the seeds out from the papaya, then afterwards you're going to peel the skin. Once you're done peeling the outer skin of papaya, you're going to rinse the papaya, then afterwards, scrape the inner flesh as you can see in the video. Then afterwards, you're going to cut the papaya into long strips and afterwards cut them into small cubes as you can see in the video step by step. When you're done, you're going to add the papaya into a medium pot, then add approximately 3 cups of water, then cover to let the papaya to cook for approximately 5 to 7 minutes. After approximately 5 to 7 minutes, your papaya should be half cooked, then afterwards you're going to remove the papaya out from the heat. Then afterwards you're going to take a bowl and a strainer and you're going to drain the water. In a medium large pan or you're going to use a pot, you're going to add approximately 2.5 cups of water and 1 and 3 quarter cup of sugar. Then stir till the sugar dissolves. Once the sugar has dissolved, you're going to add the boiled papaya and mix well. Then let the papaya to cook until the papaya are completely cooked and the sugar becomes sticky. Once the sugar becomes sticky and the papaya are completely cooked, lastly, you're going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla essence and give a quick mix and your papaya are ready and remove them out from the heat. So as you can see in the video, I've already divided my papaya into three portions because I'm going to use three food coloring which are green, orange and red.
Then you're going to add a pinch of each food coloring. You can use any color that you desire and mix the papaya very well with the color. Once you're done mixing the papaya, you're going to let the papaya in the bowl for approximately 30 minutes so that the papaya can absorb the color. Once you're done soaking the papaya for 30 minutes, then you're going to take a kitchen towel or you're going to use a clean cloth. Then place the papaya on top and let them to dry for approximately 1 to 2 hours. After approximately 2 hours your papaya are completely dry, you're going to place them in a tight container and you're going to place them in a fridge and they can last for approximately 6 to 8 weeks. Thank you for watching my video and hope you loved it. And if you want to see other recipes, I'll put the links in the description box. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below or you can follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram Rukia's Kitchen for further questions. And thank you once again. Bye-bye.